There we go. Uh, thank you to the Academy for the opportunity to share my story and how Medellin has really impacted me and continues to do so. I was a normal, happy, healthy 13-year-old eighth grader, and I've always been tall. I played tall girl sports. Uh, basketball and volleyball, and I started noticing at my basketball games that I was unable to be heard by my teammates when I was calling plays. I was in the school cafeteria, the chatting the whole school girl, talking to my friends at lunch, and they couldn't hear me. I went through over six months of tests and misdiagnoses. I was told I had bronchitis, allergies, laryngitis, to just rest my voice, but it never came back. It was finally after a doctor said, well, let's just do a scan to rule out anything crazy. And I wonder how many patients have heard those words of, let's just do a scan to roll out anything crazy. That, that scan showed that I had multiple tumors in my neck, one of which was sitting on the nerve feeding my vocal cord, causing it to be paralyzed. It was through then an ultrasound guided biopsy that it was confirmed that I had thyroid cancer. And finally, because of imaging, I had a diagnosis that I could actually do something about. I had surgery to remove my thyroid and over 30 lymph nodes that the cancer would metastasize to. But it was during that the surgery that they found out I needed further treatment due to the extent of my cancer. I was offered nuclear medicine, theranostics, radioactive iodine treatment, which was really a lifesaver. I think we can think of the cancer patient, stereotypical, balding, sick, and they're sick because of the treatment, not because of their disease. But with nuclear medicine, I was able to have minimal side effects. They were able to look through whole body scans and see the uptake of the iodine to understand where the remaining cancer was in my body. And they were able to target it through therapeutic doses of radioactive iodine. I have since used imaging throughout now almost, gosh, over 15 years since my initial diagnosis to follow my disease. I do have remaining disease uh, in my body that is followed through periodic ultrasounds, through periodic whole body scans using nuclear medicine. And it's through imaging that I, as well as my doctors, have peace of mind that allowed me to be able to get on with my life, to go get my PhD at Hopkins, to study thyroid cancer, and to be able to use my voice. It was during my first surgery, I lost the nerve feeding my vocal cord, and I was told that I was never going to be able to speak normally again. I've since had two implants that allow me to be able to speak, and so being able to use my voice to advocate for how important imaging is, research advancements, being able to talk to all of you who are doing the groundbreaking, cutting edge research is so exciting as a patient, as an advocate, because there's so much hope. There's so much here. We need the funding. And I just want to say thank you all for being here, for sharing your work, for sharing the importance. And thank you to the Academy again for the opportunity to share my story.